We have another developing story overnight. Explosions in the capital of Syria. The Israelis being accused of launching airstrikes. And this comes at a very sensitive time as President Obama weighs American military involvement in Syria's bloody civil war, sticking to his pledge that he's not taking any options off the table. ABC's Alex Marquardt is in Jerusalem. Alex. Good morning, Dan. Good morning, Bianna. Well, Israeli officials are staying, saying very tight-lipped about those reports of airstrikes last night. Syria accuses Israel of hitting a research center on the outskirts of the capital, Damascus. It's the same research center that Israel is accused of hitting back in January. There are also reports of strikes on other military targets, including an arms depot on the mountain that overlooks Damascus. If confirmed, this would be the second set of Israeli strikes in just 48 hours. On the night from Thursday to Friday, Israel is accused of hitting a shipment of ground-to-ground -ground Iranian-made missiles headed for the Lebanese militant group Hezbollah. And in the rare sign, we're seeing support, actually, of an Israeli airstrike from Syrian militants and, and activists as well. But any sense that the Israelis are worried about any retaliatory strike? Well, it's clear that tensions are very high. Israel just today moved two of its famous uh, Iron Dome anti-missile uh, batteries up into the north, covering the borders of Lebanon and Syria. Uh, we're getting reports from a TV network close to the Syrian regime that they held an emergency meeting to decide what their response should be. But perhaps in a sign that Israel doesn't think there, that there could be imminent retaliation, uh, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is continuing with a trip planned to China. He's leaving tonight, um, although his departure was delayed by a couple of hours so that he could meet with his security cabinet. There's still no confirmation from the Israelis that they did indeed launch that strike. All right, Alex, a developing story. Thank you so much.